Thanks for staying with us. So we'll just go straight to what we found in the news. And I'll come to you, Maury. Uh, what did you find for us in the news tonight? Okay, so you know that one of the one of the reasons why I've been very skeptical about the COVID vaccine is because of the side effects. So my news today is, you know, regarding something to that. So Nigeria acknowledges that the AstraZeneca vaccine side effects, but they say it's safe. <laughs> The Nigerian Agency for Food, Drugs, Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, boss Mojisola Adeyeye said, at least five people who took the vaccine from the National Hospital in Abuja experienced side effects like fever, chills, stomach rumbling and pain. Hmm. But we have not reported adverse events of serious nature or special interest, she said. She insisted that the vaccine should be stopped unless it is statistically massive occurrence knowing that these are serious but the benefits outweigh the risk ha hey i don't know because <laughs> stomach pain anything that's making your tummy rumble is, i mean if it's small headache if it's like back pain but if some it's like people fever, some like people are of your opinion. Rough, you know, tummy. yeah some, I don't know. I don't know. But what do you think? Do you think that it should be stopped because of the side effects, or should we just keep? Yeah. Um, I'm the wrong. I'm the, I think I'm the wrongest person to ask that question right now because I, I really, am totally not interested in taking that vaccine for now. But one thing I know for sure is this: that there are some people of the school of thought that um, um, the vaccine is um, for some people. Um, Nigeria has given the no. Sorry, the. Um, the side effect is relative. Mm. There are some people react to it because of their body uh, or whatever immu immunity they have or something, and while others do not react to it. And the number of people that are actually reacting to it currently are less compared to the people that are actually not reacting So this to particular it. vaccine, AstraZeneca, is mm. the vaccine that um, they ban in some countries because they experience some form of death, as we they said a lot of people had, most of them rather, the people that died had blood clots, you know, and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, um, the thing with Nigeria, I don't, I don't get if everybody, I mean, I mean, if for anything, mm -hmm. as far as that, there are two, three countries that have said, you know what, this thing, we're having an no, issue with yeah. it. I think you should put a, I mean, your citizens mm -hmm. come first. What gives? You know, the, mm -hmm. you know, the funny thing about this vaccine, even that they are televising them taking the jab. Some people do not believe that it's, maybe it's water that is inside. Some people we still do not trust. Skeptics, yes, some currently. people do not still trust the government that they are actually taking that jab. That it might exactly. not be the content that is there. It might be something somebody, else. Somebody actually said it's water. Do you understand? <laughs> it might be something else. So when there's already a there's already a comma, you mm -hmm. understand? Do not even bother. I think they should put a hold, you on know, it. on it. And yes, I know they've invested a lot bringing mm -hmm. it, but you want they to lose. They really invest. Well, they, the transportation we saw the cost. Uh. You know? <laughs> do you <laughs> want to? Do you want to lose the the lives of citizens for? I don't know. I uh. I would think that a government, you know, hearing even just uh. a small chance, zero point zero 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 one percent, that this thing can actually kill because of people that had blood clots and all that. You should have put a halt on on, on it. You know, put a halt on it. Well, I mean, the excuse is that it has not killed anybody yet. It's only giving fever and so headache. Do we, and so do we wait for it to kill somebody before we stop? Put a hold on that's it? That's, that's, that's another problem. question. You know what? Let's just move on. Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria problem. We'll be all right, all of us. <laughs> last, last. God will protect us. That's our prayer. We always say God will protect us. Uh, Let me I thought he said we should not be hopeful. <laughs> Let me well, uh, Taiwa will we'll tell you about hope when it comes. <laughs> what did you find for us in the news? Ah. You see, this country we call Nigeria is such a beautiful country. And uh, what actually struck me was a story on um, Afeni Ferre. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says Ruben, Ruben uh, Fasoranti, I don't know if I got the name correctly, but mm. um, steps down as Afeni Ferre national leader. Now, the, what is hilarious about this, to me, is quite hilarious because the man, a pa, Ruben, is uh, 95 years old mm -hmm. and he actually handed it over to a man who is <laughs> 92 and he said this right. is as a result of the fact that he's stepping down because of age he, <laughs> let me use his actual actual word he said citing old age that he's not as you know as vibrant as he used to be <laughs> now the 92 year old will he be will, <laughs> will he be as vibrant 
Oh I mean, my God. is Nigeria a joke? No, 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 no. Are no, we no, a no. joke? Three years is a lot, is it? No. When he's also that. 95, he will step down he's for age another range. 90 years. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? Like, it's so funny. I don't even know what to say. But you know what? Oh. I don't want to laugh about it because, you know, this is my story. And Pa Banjo, who actually accepted this, said that um, he would have preferred that it was handed over to, to a, um, younger a younger person. Yeah. Now, it's not if, a younger... Now, remember, he's, he's in his 90s as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe a, a younger person to him is relative. Maybe could 70 be, or 90 could be or 80, 89. 80, 70 <laughs> no, or probably... 90, 90 might be younger because he's 92. Mm -hmm. So 90 will be younger. He will call 50 Very a toddler where he is. So I don't know. Mori, you wanted There's to say so something. There's so much at stake with the way we no, think I was right answering, now. I was answering Elise's um, question. She said, are we a joke? I said, yes, but apparently <laughs> we're, we're Thank you. Ah, it is well. We're not a joke. Oh. Nigeria will get better. You should have hope. Hmm? When right, I said so, it the other day, you said, oh, no, 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 we no, need no, strategy. No. Hope is not a strategy. A strategy. I'm saying just, just believe. Well, oh, I don't, let me not contradict myself. Hope is, not, <laughs> oh, hope is still not a strategy. But my story is actually like a follow-up on mm. yesterday's conversation that we okay. had. You see, my face has changed. Mm -hmm. All right, so when I saw this, I said, okay, some level of, you know, action being taken. Yeah. Covenant University lecturer arrested for raping 17-year-old 17 year, um, 17 -year student. And um, let me just quickly read the caption that was underneath this post. This was posted by, you know, Chechere, is it Chechera? That's how they call the foundation for okay. rape victims. I think it's owned by Abiola's um, wife or some one of the, okay. yeah. One of the wives. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Daughter? Tinumbu's okay. family, one of the wives. She runs that NGO, NGO. For, for girls, yeah. Okay. It says um, Dr. Stephen Ukenna, a 41-year-old lecturer, of the Department of Business Management at Covenant University, Ota Ogun State, has been arrested on Monday, 11th um, March, for raping a 17-year-old student of the school. Okena was arrested after a complaint was lodged at Ota Area Command by the parents of the student. On interrogation, the suspect admitted to the crime, but was unable to give reasons for his action. The Commissioner of Police, uh, CP Edward Awolo, uh, Ajogun has ordered the immediate transfer of the suspect to the state CID for further investigation and diligent prosecution. And they are saying that note that uh, rape is not um, is a crime punishable under the law, so desist from the this despicable act or serve the term. That's um, Tatiana added that to it. But you what see, should be the right punishment for rape. So yesterday we we're talking. One. If somebody has admitted, because mm. maybe we should put it in context. If somebody has admitted to committing the crime, because I understand, I, I, I now know where San Sanzi was coming from, where she was saying mm -hmm. she was not advocating for castration. She wasn't advocating for castration because she felt like, yes, we've, we've heard cases of when men are wrongly accused of Absolutely. rape and they now find out years later after they serve jail terms Absolutely. that they were innocent after all. Totally. Right? So mm -hmm. that case, yes. So maybe when it's proven beyond reasonable doubt that the person confessed that, yes, I did it, you know, mm -hmm. I think uh, we can still do the castration. Because, you know, and then send the person to jail. What do you think? Hmm. I you have very, that. very twisted thoughts in respect to this. Mm. I am so scared to air my views about it. But the key thing is this, that there should be some sort of punishment that is very grave to the hey, man. Castration who, is grave now. Who probably is not grave enough. Leave, okay, you are being careful. Let me come to Mori. Mori, mm. what do you think? So you are saying that um, if the person should confess, then mm. the person should be castrated. But you know that there have been cases where somebody confesses under pressure, like you beat some, you beat a confession out, out of, of person. person. Well, that's so true. I still, I still feel like castration might be an extreme. You know, extreme. But in a case where you find the person like there's red-handed, like maybe somebody enters and then you catch the person in the action, maybe in cases like that, then you can, you know, castrate. I really honestly. Rape is not a subject that I don't know. It, it, it gets me mad all the time. I can yeah, never understand the concept. I can never understand the reason behind it. It's barbaric. Castration is just it's the beginning. Mean. To me, honestly it's this It's the height of sickness. It's you know the funny is. thing is that I was saying to you in the makeup room that these days, I mean, that word, that what you're looking for in the act, is very free. In it's fact, right now, they have moved uh, the business to Instagram. You just mm -hmm. need to order what you want. And the person will come and meet you there. So why do you have to? Why do you have to um, defile somebody else to get it? It's right? To play the role of dominance. That, well, I'm thinking that rape is rape might be a psychological. It's a problem. psychological yes, problem. It's it not is. might. It is. It it's like, is. It's a sickness. It is. Yes. That is being dominant. But you know what I, I'm thinking? Because mm -hmm. over the years, 
you know, we have not really, really given very, very strong, um, what's it called? Because look at what AK posted in the UK when she was talking about um, um, sexual harassment on, on the group. Imagine what some people were saying mm -hmm. that are, so there's still even a 3% left. They said 97% of girls have been harassed one form or, one form or the other or sexually. The other. And some, but some men are commenting there and say, ah, there's still even 3% left. That means we've not finished our job. Can you imagine? So that's to tell you that, you see, that's why I said that castration, for me, I think it would just reset a lot but of people's brain. But do you think, you, but you well, know what? You, there was something we talked we talked about earlier, and I, you said you were raising gentlemen, okay? I am of the opinion that, do you think that the parents actually got it wrong when they were being Of course, it's a wrong, it's, 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 it's a lot of things. It's not just on and parents. a social and environmental factor. It's not just on parents. Has you know, I, feel like, I feel like it would be unfair to blame any parent right obviously parents always have like a huge role to play Mm -hmm. But it can be everywhere. Uh, you know what? I, I, I that's not our conversation, agree. ladies. So we have our guest mm. waiting. Oh, yes. oh. It's so annoying. But I, I chose to be very calm today about it. I don't want to vent like yesterday because I want to talk about more pressing issues as well. Mm. Um, so we'll see you after the break to discuss education as a, and um, as the key to nation building. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Edu